always asking me all the time about why I decided to go into the uh, education career. Uh, for those of you that know me, I worked for 12 years at WDRB News. I worked everything from being a news editor to a photographer, even did on air. When I found out the chance that I could actually go back to my old high school, uh, Fern Creek High School, and get a chance to actually teach filmmaking, there was nothing else that, that could have made me any more happy. I, I jumped at that opportunity because this was my way of giving back to my community. What I teach is a visual literacy type class. It deals on the levels of digital filmmaking. The great thing that about my class is everything is hands-on. Everything is hands-on. We don't actually teach out of a book. Everything from the curriculum, it comes from up here, of my years of experience in broadcast communications. I'm a 1997 of graduate of Fern Creek High School. After that, I went on to go to Moorhead State University, earning a Bachelor of Arts in Electronic Media. And from there, that was when I chose to go and work for WDRB News. So for 12 years, I put in, put in that hard work and one of the nights I was sitting back watching uh, YouTube videos and I saw a video that was being presented by uh, Secretary, uh, Education Secretary of State, Arnie Duncan. And he was talking about the need for more black men in the classroom. This is something that, you know, I, I locked on. I locked on in, I was like, and I, when I found out how many black men are not in the classroom to give uh, black males, young black males, a chance to see someone that looks like them, to be taught by them, I said, you know what, let me uh, look a bit more into this uh, career field. We're positing two layers on top of each other. When you guys ended up making your room, you had a bunch of layers that are stacked on top of each other. It's the same way with Photoshop as well, too. So you have a bunch of layers that are stacked on top of each other. That's what compositing means. Green screen was just up, but on the, in the real camera, you can actually still see behind it and see the car and how they do it. Like you said, a portion of the green screen. Masking, the thing that I showed you to do. So this right here, everything outside, this is where the green screen is set right there. Everything outside of that, he masked everything else out. Cancel everybody. You just have me green screen walk in, I turn to the camera and I sit down. You have to place me where I actually sit on your couch. So nobody has any questions about key or anything like that right now, right? Nobody? Alright? If you haven't got the full points yet, let's go ahead and let's knock that out. This is what we got for the rest of the period. I'm still gonna go around to check and see who needs still needs actual help on it. Everything else is a PNG. He actually created his own outside shot. So that's really just a picture right behind there, and these are really window panes. So Dylan ends up walking in. He walks, he walks, he walks. And what he's going to end up doing, he's going to have a seat right there. Why are you just a pre-writer, bro? And bingo, he has a seat. Nice and comfortable. But once That's higher than 400? 500. Higher than 500. What is the thing that you have to put in front of it to make sure you get the type of in it? PNG. PNG, exactly. Just I'm just showing them what I've taught you. All right, keep going. And on the windows, you got to get certain photos. If you want to get something that's going to blend in the back, it has to have black squares in the back of it. Google. White squares, white squares. Yeah, white that's the way you know that it's transparent. And this is transparent, right? It's just really two uh, photos, but it just looks like one. So when you play it in full motion, it'll look like it's actually playing while you're actually walking in and sitting down. I would get a wider TV. I can do make this. I can make it wider. Dude. Get a TV, get a TV with a stand. Because right now... On the edge. Why don't we get me yep. from moving to the wall to there? Alright. So let's play. I'm sitting you. there. You sit. Bingo. You're good. Alright, so you see right here. My bed looks tiny. Alright, you because you made your bed tiny. <laughs> I so, so thanks for taking your time to go ahead and view this video to check out how I actually teach my classroom and the new wave of what I really believe that visual literacy is going to end up taking us to. If you have any questions or anything about that, or if you're interested, I hope this maybe made you interested in the career of education, feel free. You can go ahead and hit me up on Facebook about anything that you want to know. If I don't have the right answer, hey, I can end up pointing you guys in the right direction with someone that could also end up helping you out as well, too. All right? Bases out.